What's going on, tweakers? This is Ryan with Tweak My Device. I'm back with the awesome Galaxy Nexus. Just want to show you I'm on 402, the stock Android software. And I'm unrooted. You see, there's no super user there. I actually just did the Odin restore with this. So I'm completely back to stock. And I want to get this. Uh, rooted with Clockwork Mod Recovery installed and completely set up. So check out this tutorial. I'm going to show you MSkip's awesome Galaxy Nexus toolkit. This is version 4.1 now that he's released and it has the option to do pretty much all of the basics you want to do to get your phone ready for tweaking. Um, it'll back up apps, it'll restore apps, one click unlock, root, flash, clockwork, mod recovery, everything. So we're going to check this out. We're not going to hit every single function of it in this video, but I'm going to show you the main ones to get you started. The download is right here in mskip's thread. And once you've downloaded it, this is what you'll have in EXE. Just double click on that, run, and this will automatically unzip it to the correct directory. So just click unzip. and OK. Close that and you can close this. Now you'll navigate into your C drive and find Galaxy Nexus Toolkit. We need to get our Nexus in fast boot mode so we're going to power it off. Once it's powered off hit the volume down and up and hold the power button. We'll connect for USB. And you simply double click the toolkit.bat. Don't run as administrator, just double click it. I'm on build 402, so I'm going to select option 6 for my Verizon LTE model. Enter. Great, we have our fast boot number there, so that's good to go. So we have a large menu to work with here. You can install the drivers to your PC if it needs it, back up and restore your phone. I already have an unlocked bootloader, but if you didn't, you can do that there. I do need to root my phone, so I'm going to use option 4. Now I want to use the alternate touch recovery, so I'm not going to flash Clockwork Mod Recovery. But I am going to go ahead and root the phone now, so I'm going to select number 4. Enter. Once again, it confirms your build and what you're trying to do, so just type yes when you're sure. Your phone will reboot. And once again, thanks to mSkip for this. This is an awesome tool. Completely automates it and makes hacking this phone very, very easy. It, you'll need to have USB debugging enabled. Now it detected USB debugging was enabled and so it's continuing. Got us back into fast boot mode. Root procedure completed, rebooting back into fast boot mode. I don't see any errors with that. We should be good to go. Awesome, and we're back at the menu. Now, if you wanted to, you could proceed with flashing Clockwork Mod Recovery. If you plan to stay on your stock ROM with Clockwork Mod Recovery, you would need to do option 5 first to rename the recovery restore file. If you're going to use a custom ROM, go ahead with 6. 
For the time being at least, I'm going to stay on a stock ROM because I'm going to demonstrate some mods to the OEM Android system. So I want to remove the recovery restore file. Um, this file is in place to tell your phone to boot into the stock recovery unless you select 5, enter, and delete it. Yes. And your phone's booting up. Then it'll automatically get into ADB mode. Okay, so you see we had the message failed to remove that file. Um, it wasn't found. That's good because that file is not there. And your next action would be number six to install the Clockwork Mod Recovery. I'm going to choose not to do this because I'm going to install the new touch recovery. So once you're finished, you can type X, enter, to exit, and go ahead and unplug your Nexus and push start. Looking in the app drawer, you can see we have super user installed, and you should be rooted and good to go. Enjoy your rooted Galaxy Nexus and subscribe to Tweak My Device on YouTube.